The picture we have today is the Earth's climate is changing. We humans are largely responsible. And by 1995, climatologists were able to say quite clearly, we are heating up the planet. It's going to be a serious problem. Normally sunlight will come through our atmosphere, hit the Earth's surface, and reflect back out to space. Now we have these heat-trapping gases trapping in more heat. We're seeing a big increase in uh, violent weather. The timing of the seasons has changed. And all that has happened from one degree of warming. We have enough capability in the scientific community today to be able to give you very strong evidence human actions are bringing about climate change. Those who have a financial interest in not seeing a solution to this problem developed and not seeing government implement solutions to the problem, of course, want us to believe that there is no consensus because they want us to believe that there is no truth. Well, we're going to continue to support groups that take a contrary view to having a good debate. People have thought to themselves, I, I don't really need to think about this. You know, their scientists are still fighting about it. When they stop fighting, you know, wake me up and then and, and we'll deal with it. Exxon, knowing this, tried to undermine the science in the public eye. They don't want to uh, reduce oil consumption. That's, that's how they make their money. Fundamentally, we've got a business to run first. And we're going to do things that are in the best interest of our shareholders. What ExxonMobil has been instrumental in doing is funding what we call junk science. ExxonMobil has spent more than $15 million bankrolling about five or six skeptics in their institutions. Just the perception that there's a debate on this complicated issue, it's enough to keep the public from registering in such a powerful way. There was a direct line of communication between uh, the industry and the White House about global warming. And meanwhile, this whole process that ought to be engaging the whole society in talking to the scientists about where are we vulnerable and what are we going to do, and it was killed. It's not any way to run a country. Not only has ExxonMobil caused an enormous amount of this problem and not done anything to help, they have also spearheaded the effort to confuse people around this country and around the world about the facts about climate change. They are ground zero for climate devastation on planet Earth.